just off center on that one. Hmm. Uh, is it me or does this guy really not seem to care that I am smacking him? I don't think he's stunned. It's <laughs> really funny. All right. Oh, I completely missed him on that one. Yeah, that... I'm actually a little worried that, um... That he's not doing anything. Oh, now he cares. Same any one shots you. That's probably gonna happen, actually. Although I do, I have a liquid vellum as a last resort. That stagger fixed him. Yeah, that seems to be uh, what happened there. Excuse me. <laughs> oh God. And as a very last resort, I have some of these which will restore some health and some stamina. Move, 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 move. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Probably shouldn't try and read chat while running around from that guy. <laughs> that was my that was my own fault. Uh, I was just falling. Uh, you should jump on him. Oh, you know, I don't even I don't even think about jumping on uh, enemies with uh, with a mage.
I'm pretty much guaranteeing that this is not going to work out the same way that it did last time. Um, he's probably not going to get stuck in that loop. Come on, no, no, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, that was, that was beautiful. You know, why don't I just do that, you know, from now on instead of running around? I mean, come on. That was way easier. Okay. <laughs> Easy stagger. Yeah, I uh, I got really lucky. Uh, okay. I don't know. I, I guess not lucky. Uh, it was better and smarter of me to go around the other side to line up the, uh, the flame wall uh, more precisely uh, to hit him multiple times. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Okay, uh, so this is the this is the exit. Uh, so we need to go back to back to the very beginning of the game. Uh, I think actually, let me let me check the map and make sure I didn't miss any areas. No, nope, we're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we need to head back here uh, so we can talk to the uh, the guy that was outside and let him know that the path is clear. Oh, that first one I struggled so much with. Oh, man. I struggled so much with it. Uh, Benjamin, oh, thank you so much for that host. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome. All right, so we finished this guy's quest, so now he... Uh, sector clear, yes. Or I should say, we are still playing Dragon's Dogma. With this rope open, the merchants of the capital will have an easier time bringing in goods from afar. Is this a small PvP stream? Nice. It is a fine thing for sellers and buyers alike having trade on the rise. All right. Uh, the real question is, how much discipline do I have? I've only got sixteen hundred discipline. Wow, I did not get a lot of discipline out of there. Some kind of willing hassle. <laughs> eh, it happens. Don't beat yourself up. All right, uh, we need we need discipline points. So I mean, just another little touch I love about this game. Pretty much, no matter where you are, at least in the uh, kind of the around the castle area. Uh, you can always see where the castle is. You can always see it lit or the silhouette of it. Uh, so you always kind of know like a basic direction if you want to get back there uh, to go if you're not teleporting. But why, why would I teleport when the game just looks so awesome at night? Oh. You were supposed to sprint, not just walk. Oh crap. Oh, okay. 
Or just check the mini-map. No, no, I didn't even check the mini-map. Uh, I really need to switch back to my uh, fire staff, actually. Need to be able to uh, light these uh, goblins on fire relatively quickly, because then they'll run around. And it makes it much easier to deal with them. Get back over here. I hear you. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll just follow the river back uh, over this way. Oh, we got some zombies. You get way, way more experience solo than you do uh, in a group. Either that, or they uh, change the experience rates. Uh, can I send a clip? I <laughs> should I hit him on that? Oh, really? I did not know that. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to try that. Uh, send a clip. A uh, clip of of what? I mean, sure. Throw it in chat. Nice. Oh, I doubt that's the cheesiest PvP ever. Although I can't actually look at it, I'd have to tab out. I will uh I will look at it later. I'm assuming it's the crossbow. Oh, it's a different one. All right, uh, let's drop some stuff off. Hmm, I think I want to keep Thunderclap on. Couldn't win against crossbow. Uh, it's very great source spam. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I want to hang on to that just in case. Uh, what was the ogre bone? Uh, let's see. Nearing hewn from ogre bone lends balance, such that enemies are less likely to stun the wearer. Oh, that that might actually be useful. But I really don't want to get rid of my uh, my other uh, my other item. Uh, but I, I would lose plus ten to magic, and that's pretty important right now. Uh, love the frayed blade. Uh, frayed blade. Are you talking about the uh, um, the scythe? I don't. Remember, 
I, I, I think I'll just keep everything that's on me. Uh, oh, let's store that. Uh, Madeira boss weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't think I've made that weapon. I, uh, I don't remember what I did with Madeira's boss soul when I beat it. I don't know. That was on my uh, uh, samurai, or not samurai, but uh, master uh, Sasaki cosplay uh, run. That was a that was an interesting Dark Souls three playthrough. Uh, Katana and rags. It was pretty fun though. It was pretty fun. At your pick, any you like. What will it be today? Uh, let's see. I could have sworn that I saw one that was uh, supposed to be increase enchantment time by thirty percent. Was that a? Oh, that must have been a rank nine one, not rank. Uh, not rank seven. Oh wait, no. There it is. It was just blacked out. I guess great sword, uh, which is basically ex great sword with zero durability. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've really used his weapon uh, much either. But I do like that fight. Um, that is uh, that is a pretty uh, a pretty fun fight. Might as well buy it. <laughs> and then one shot. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, okay. What will it be today? At your pick. Any you like. Come again soon. All right, so we, we cleared that out. Um, I think, what were we gonna do? Hmm, I don't quite remember. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, where is, I think it's this one. Jump before the lunge. Oh. Damn it. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, apparently... Bitch uh, set off the auto mod. That was interesting. Uh, let's see. I was read uh lunch attack weapon art and it looks so epic. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, it shouldn't be set at all, actually, which is why that surprised me. Uh, where was this one at? Wait, is is this the one? Uh, is this quest one where you? I want to say it's one that you come across even uh, if you do all the uh, the worm hunt uh, quests. Why do I? Why do I feel like this quest in particular is part of another quest? Like you can find that book even if you don't pick this quest up. I don't remember.
We don't deal in the like of Grimoire. Prove me wrong. What is up? Uh, Book at the Mail, Bannock Castle. Oh, um... We're in honest business. The one Those that is on the way to the Witchwood? El stolen property. Oi, there's a notion. Why not ask a thief? They're more like to have it than honest. Take all the time you like. Do come again. Yeah, okay. Me, I've no love of magic. Iron and steel home to an edge. The master works all, you can't go wrong. He, uh, he apparently does not like me. Oh, we got some, we got some shroud. We can upgrade this. Uh, Chris, what is up? How's it going? Uh, I'm doing, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Glad, uh, glad to see you. It's been a while. Oh, uh, we only need one more for that. Mm, wait, how many? Oh, I need a griffin pinion. That's why. The master works all. You can't go wrong. Uh, I don't think he has anything. Yeah, he doesn't have anything I would need. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually sleep. I don't think my character has slept since I left uh, Casardas. These last years, Duke Edmund seemed to repairing worn fortifications and increasing. This guy from Night Out, nice. Yeah, we're uh, we're back on a night schedule. But it's all in all. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Understood. Sleep until morning. Okay. Um, I don't remember. What did you need me to do? you've become... Uh, what was it? Uh, arisen. Important, aren't you now? You'll find not but the finest wares here. I don't think she has anything that I actually want. Or at least not at this point. Or either that or I just bought everything she already had. <laughs> Sleeps for the week. You know, I used to think that when I was younger. Then I got old. <laughs> You'll find not but... Thank you very much. I, I feel like now in my life, I'm catching up on all the sleep that I did not get when I was younger. What if I have over here? Um, it's uh, 145 over here. Okay. Um, hmm. Should we go get the book? I think I think we should go get the book. This last grant all have your pick. Any you like, what will it be today? Now I don't want to deposit. I would like to withdraw because I'm gonna need a lot of stuff to make it over there. Uh we're gonna need some more of these, so we'll grab eleven of those, make it fifteen. Uh we'll grab the rest of these. Uh, I think I might stock up on a bunch of potent uh, ones, just because they're pretty cheap, and I can uh, I can buy a lot of them because I've got way more money than I'm ever going to use at this point in the game. Much later on in the game, I'll definitely use this money um, for stuff because uh, things things will start to get very expensive uh, for upgrading. F45 here. Oh, uh, is that... That must be AM, right? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you are not in the, uh, in the US, uh, Drabauer. Well, actually, you know what? I should probably check to see how many... How many do I have? Curious wine. Oh, I've got four of those. I've got three of those. Okay, we're gonna do uh we're gonna do some 
some crafting real quick. Uh, do those. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Use Nightcry. Okay, and we're done crafting. I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff that I could craft, but, uh... I think we should, uh, head to the bandit camp. Ooh, it's... The, the one thing that I really... Uh, just another little touch in the game, like, your character really does feel heavier or lighter you know depending on your uh, uh your weight uh limit and it's and it really does like it's not a like percentage base like uh like say dark souls uh where you know at a certain point you're just your movement's gonna be you know is not gonna be what it was whereas in, in this game like as you get heavier like it's it's a much more gradual uh upgrade of of slowness and kind of weight to your character There's just way too many things that are cool about this game. I really, I really wish more people had played this game. Although their sales have to have been fairly decent after PS3, Xbox 360, PC, PS4, and Xbox One sales. It, it's got to be fairly, fairly decent, right? Um, hmm. What is going to be, you know what, the fastest way, since I'm, I'm really not going to run all the way back over there. I will uh I will just go this way. Uh yes, sprinting. I don't know. I I like the idea of the stamina bar and just how how it interacts in, in terms of a, a mechanic. Really wish that you didn't use stamina to, to sprint. Uh, Credence, what is up? Welcome. Uh, I got about 200 hours in the remastered. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, you playing that on uh, PS4, Xbox One, PC? Uh, well, I guess the, I don't know. Would you consider the PC to be a remastered? There's a PC mod for infinite sprint. Of course there is. Yeah, I need to uh, uh, prove me wrong. I need to get um, I need to get the name of that mod that you were uh, talking about the other night that uh, changes the enemy placements. Uh, I definitely would be interested in that mod. Xbox, nice. Oh, we got wolves. Uh, world difficulty. Yeah, yeah. Is is it just called world difficulty? Uh, is it on? Is it on Nexus? Or is it uh, somewhere else? Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, that's gonna be big. It's on Nexus. Okay, cool. That uh, that should make it. Uh, that should make it much easier. Okay, one one more question for me wrong. Uh, do they is there a um, a mod uh, optimizer uh, for Dragon's Dogma? Not that I think I'm gonna need it, but just in case. I hear you. Where are you? Eat fire. No, no, attack the guy that's right next to you that's about to attack you. Oh, shit, get out of there.
Protect me, fire orbs of doom. Protect me. They never... They, they Very rarely do they do anything. This is... Uh, this is Striking Files. Okay. Well, no, I mean, like... Uh, I mean, I don't think it would ever get to the point of, like, Skyrim mods. Um, but, uh, you know, just, just in case. We should probably heal up. Uh, so, uh, Kunz, what uh, what class or what vocation are you uh, are you playing? And uh, is that two hundred hours on one character, or are you uh, doing multiple characters? I, the one thing that I really I understand why they did it, but I wish that they hadn't done it that way um, is the one save file. There's ways to get around it on both PC and on console now. Um, but I really wish that they that they just allowed you to have multiple save files. I, I don't see, I mean, more than likely they do it because of the pawn system, but I don't see how you wouldn't be able to, you know, just save the data for the pawn and, you know, reload new data uh, for a, a new pawn and a new, a new game. Okay. Oh, right. Got to save. Got to save. Although, so, okay, the last time I came through these guys, I, uh, or came through here, these guys caked my ass. I had to just run past them. I hate running past enemies. Uh, one, working on all vocations. Nice, nice. What's, uh, which one's your favorite so far? Or, uh, which ones have you done so far? Might go ahead and buy Dragon's Dogma. It looks awesome. It is a it's a great game. It is a it's a really good game. Fighter and Warrior and Nemesis Vocations. Yeah, Warrior Warrior's really hard to get into. Um there's just the 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 fact that they only give you three moves. Um it can get really, really repetitive. The fighter the fighter I, I found to not be quite as uh, as boring uh, just because you have like you can always entertain yourself with like perfect block practice and you know things like that. Whereas the the warrior, you really got to dig into like the warrior skills and figure out the uh, the iframes on the different moves and how you know you, you really have to use your moves as like your mobility and, and things like that. And it's it can take a lot of time for the warrior to really uh, like to really click basically. But yeah, no, I definitely, definitely understand. Magic Archer's favorite, so much fun. Yeah, Magic Archer is really fun. Uh, I, my, uh, my last playthrough, I started as a, I started as a mage, went to a sorcerer, and then towards the end of the game, I ended up uh, switching to a Magic Archer because I hadn't used that class yet, and uh, ended up really liking it. I mean, it's probably, I would say, Magic Archer is probably the. I wouldn't say necessarily the easiest class, but probably one of the best classes to uh, solo with, just because they can do everything. Um, same thing with Mystic Knight. Mis both those two classes are, I think, are really, really good classes. Just there's so much utility between uh, between them. Uh, I got Warrior Ranger and Magic Archer left to finish. Yeah, Magic Archer, uh, Ranger. See, my biggest problem with the bow classes, and I've said this before, so anybody that's been here, uh, you know, that was here yesterday and stuff like that when we were talking about it, I apologize. But not being able to have uh, like a quick selection uh, of your your arrows, uh, arrow types, is really, really annoying. Um, I would much, much rather them have allowed me to actually use other arrows rather than having to go into my inventory every time. Because realistically, most of the like effect arrows or the debilitating arrows, you know, the status stuff, you're not going to be using all 20 of them at once. You know, you're going to use like four or five at a time and then want to switch back to your regular arrows. And I just, I don't understand why they didn't allow you to switch arrows or have something in place. I don't know. There's there is the hotkey stuff on um, on the consoles now, but uh, from what I was reading, you can't actually put uh, specialty arrows as uh, as hotkeys. I don't know. Maybe maybe you can confirm that. I mean, I I was contemplating picking it up on console uh, on you know one of the newer consoles because I thought I might be able to do that.
And I mean, and the only reason that I was going to pick it up on consoles was to be able to have a hotkeyed, different, uh, different arrow types uh, hotkeyed, because that would just, that would make playing those classes so much better. Uh, and it would just, it would flow a lot better. Combat wouldn't get uh, broken up so much. I don't know, maybe, um, PC does have hotkeys, uh, but if you're using a controller like I am, you, you have to take your hand off the controller. Oh, you know, what? I wonder, uh, I wonder if electricity, how that would work on these guys. I hate, I hate the stinger. No, no, no. D damn it. And that's why I hate the stinger. Uh, yeah, I mean, the mouse and keyboard controls aren't, aren't terrible. Um, but I mean, I, my, my opinion of mouse and keyboard controls on PC games is uh, non-existent uh, since, I mean, if there's an option to use a controller, I'm, for, you know, especially for a, like, a character action game or something like that, I'm going to go with the controller. It just, it just feels more uh, comfortable. See, the other thing is, if I could, uh, if I could assign the hotkeys as the number, um, number keys, that would work because then I could still have my uh, left hand on the controller uh, so I can move my character and still be able to sprint while still being able to hit the, you know, one through five or, or whatever it is, however many hotkeys there are um, with just the number pad itself. You know, I guess sworn electricity was supposed to like stun them. Bloody hell. Wait, did that guy just help me? No, he just attacked his own dude for some weird reason. Get back. Uh, con console has hockeys. Uh, yeah, it's uh, if you if you go to uh, select an item, uh, it's basically like this. Uh, well, wrong one. Uh, from from what I understand on the, on the uh, on the console. Select the item, and then I believe you hit, um, I believe you hit Y, and then a directional pad. And then to bring it up, you hit, uh, you hold both, um, both ability triggers, uh, whatever you have them set to, whether it's uh, R1, R2, or, uh, you know, you, you basically you'd hit uh, R1 and R, uh, R1, L1, or R2, L2, depending on, you know, how your controller is set up uh, to activate it. So like I can, I, my lamp is set to one. I mean, I can, I can go up here and I can just hit the different keys to, uh, to set it. And I've got one through five, but I can't use the number pad for some reason. Wait, maybe, I don't know why I didn't just think of this before. Oh, that's right. I did think of this before, but there's nowhere to change it. I can't actually change what the hotkeys are. That's right. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm not done with you yet. Uh, a keyboard mouse is pretty good. Yeah. Carpet I had to use a controller. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I could, I could use, you know, mouse and, and, and keyboard. It's not, you know, it's not terrible. Was it, uh, there we go. But it just, but it doesn't feel comfortable to me.
Wait, where did that guy go? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's another, it's a warrior. Oh, oh, this, this guy's almost dead. Okay. I forgot to boost my magic. Oh, did the fire kill him? Nice, nice. The fire killed him. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so is uh, is there anybody that has not uh, that didn't play this when it first came out and just played the uh, the remaster? Well, that's bad. That's that really sucks. Yeah, arrow bow and arrow guys are the bane of my existence in this playthrough so far. So. Itch. I'm not even trying to do like a level two. I'm just trying to do the level one. I was about to say he's taking way too uh, too much time to fire that. That's gonna knock me uh, knock me back. <laughs> oh, he actually missed. One very fast playthrough on three sixty. Yeah, my, I, st I started off with the 360 version, but I I could never really I could never get over the uh, the letterboxing. Like the the letterboxing just always annoyed the crap out of me. And then when I did actually get over the letterboxing, I just got bored with the game for some reason. It, it wasn't until I picked it up on uh, on Steam for I, I think I got it for like five bucks on Steam one time. Uh, during a sale, uh, it wasn't until then that I actually like sat down and play and like something something clicked. Like I didn't didn't have the black bars. It didn't you know, but there was just besides that something something just clicked and I was like oh oh yeah this game is awesome. So there was like uh, six or seven hours I think. Oh nice nice. Basically it was pretty pathetic. Was it uh, was it more of a just get get through the game as fast as possible, move on to the next game. Could you know the random jet is so annoying? Yeah, that was that was another thing uh, that um, was definitely kind of annoying about the original version. Son of a... That guy is just waiting. Alright, fine. You want to you wanna stay up there? Where are you? Oh, oh, wait, wait. There you are. And you didn't even drop anything. You suck. Okay, uh, so now that we killed those guys finally. I don't know. As, as much of a kind of... Uh, Realistically, as much as a dun of a dungeon crawl, this has kind of be uh, become. I am I am actually enjoying myself. the uh, The challenge is definitely uh, is definitely nice. I mean, it's I'm at the point right now where I kind of want to start another character uh, solo and see uh, how I can do with that one because I've never I've never done I've never tried doing a solo character in the in the game before. Uh, we got a lot of guys over there. What about there? Ah, that's gonna hurt. Save. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's a good idea. Nope. Still aggroed. Oh, at least I did break them up, though. 
So I'll, I, I can just take this guy out. Oh, get away from me. Got the PC version eventually. Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, I'm playing in, in, you know, I'm only playing at 30 FPS right now uh, because I'm streaming it at 30 FPS because um, my my computer cannot handle playing at 60 FPS and streaming at 60 FPS. I tried, um, but the game really does feel nice at 60. I mean, I'm I'm fine with playing it at 30. Like, I don't mind, you know. But, uh, you know, playing it at 60 was definitely nice. I was really, I was really hoping that the console versions would hit 60 FPS. Like, I don't, I actually don't understand why the consoles aren't hitting, why they didn't try to go 60 FPS on the consoles. Thank you. Yeah, I really, uh, I, I think the next, the next one that I want to try for solo is a, uh, is a magic archer, uh, more so because I know that the magic archer would probably be really, uh, really fun, uh, just because there would be ways to handle crowds like this. There would be ways to handle, uh, you know, pretty much every enemy and not have to, uh, kite everybody, um. <laughs> I th that uh, that ranger just saved my ass. Believe it or not, the uh, the the fighter was coming in with a with the stinger, um, and uh, would have would have one shot me probably, uh, but the ranger smacked me with a uh, with a shot that knocked me off, uh, knocked me back. Ah oh, shit! Get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, there's even wolves over there too. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma Solo Mage, where you spend most of your time running away. Come here. Shit, he doesn't get knocked over as easily as the uh, as the other guys. Oh wait, is that son of a bitch? I thought that wolf was going after him. Oh, we're out of stamina. No, not that one. Oh, come on. Yeah, you, you moved it. This game hates me. This game hates me so damn much. I wish you could control the angle of that. I saved. I saved. That's right. Okay, we're not we're not screwed. I saved. Once again, I'm really glad I decided to not go with a uh, permadeath uh, as well, because I almost thought about trying permadeath as well. Although knowing what I know now, I would never try a permadeath with a mage. No way.
I'm going to make this spell work, damn it. Or die trying. Uh, that spell could be so cool if it actually did something. Like, I don't know, stop guys, freeze them, slow them down, something. I don't think I hit him. Nope. Alright, fine. You're just gonna sit right there. I'm going to... do this. I hear a wolf. And how in the hell did the... Oh, okay, that did hit him. <laughs> I hate leveling one. <laughs> Well, I mean, arguably the mage is, is way better if you have a pawn. If you if you've got a um, like usually if I'm playing mage, my my pawn is uh, is a fighter or warrior, uh, something that can basically tank, uh, and then essentially your you know then then all you're doing is just letting them take the aggro and, and just casting spells and uh, making sure you you heal them uh, and stuff like that. Like you you kind of get relegated to healer with some damage. Uh, I I've. I mean, at least that's, you know, kind of the way I've played sometimes. <laughs> but yes, this is probably the most difficult uh, time I have ever had in this game with a mage. By far. By far. I mean, again... I I am having fun, but it's just it's a matter of figuring out what the mage can do in these situations cuz I mean not ever playing the mage solo and always having pawns around even if it's just one pawn not having any pawns severely changes the dynamic of of combat and what's going on uh because again if you at least you have one pawn you still have somebody else to take aggro it still gives you a chance to uh get some spells off that take a longer cast uh time Yeah, you know, there's it's it's a lot of things that I've never really had to consider previously. Normal or hard. This is just normal. That's that's the that's the crazy thing. Sorcerer would probably be better. Yeah, I I'm probably gonna switch over to sorcerer just because there also is some uh, augments that I need to get from the sorcerer. Um, but I wanted to get the mage up to nine so that I could get the uh, increased uh, magic uh, damage. Uh, right now, I'm working on the uh, increase uh, enchantment um, duration. That's kind of that's what I'm working towards right now for uh, for the mage. And then once uh, once I get that, um, oh, and and focus bolt. Uh, but I can get focus bolt on um, sorcerer as well, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, like the, the sorcerer has, I think would actually, uh, again, I think I agree with you. The sorcerer would probably be better because the sorcerer has like, has a, a lot more, uh, offensive utility spells, you know, like poison, um, you know, things like that, which I think would come in incredibly handy in, um, in what I'm trying to do. The real the real problem is is once I get to like the big sorcerer spells. Uh holy focus boat wrecks everything. Yeah, well, hopefully it'll proc health more often. I mean, one of the main reasons that I was doing mage was so that I had a uh a source of healing besides just uh items. Um but again, playing the mage, it seems like I'm really not getting that much of a uh, use out of the heal spell. Uh, when I do use it, I, I'm always at, you know, like half health or lower. So even if I use that, I'm still going to use a consumable to get my health back up to full. Um, so losing that is not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, it definitely doesn't work on uh, undead and uh, skeletons as well as I would like it to in order to do damage. So yeah, I... I think moving over to the uh, to the sorcerer is probably the smart idea right now.
Because like I said, really the only thing left of the mage that I'm actually really wanting to get is uh, a couple augments. Like none of the, there's no other mage spells that I think are really going to make that much of a difference. Uh, the ones uh, like the uh, silence and blind one, those are great when you have Who other party everyone? members. Uh, Credence, thank you so much for that follow. Really appreciate that. Uh, Holy Enchant health return depends on damage done, I think. See, I I was wondering that because it seemed like when I was using it against the uh, skeletons and undead, it was proccing, like, you know, every single hit, basically. Uh, and then using it on, like, a bandit or something, it just, you know, like, once every, you know, 16, 18 hits, it seemed like. So you might you might be onto something with that in terms of the uh, the damage output uh, having an effect on it. But I also remember all of the uh, elements also having a much better, um, like uh, a much easier uh, uh, or more frequent uh, proc on the other um, other elements. Like I thought for I thought lightning or the uh, yeah lightning would uh, would shock enemies and stun them. Uh, Cold, I thought I remembered it like slowing enemies down or freezing them. Um, but I, I guess it is based off of damage maybe as far as whether or not it actually sticks. I don't know. Uh, kill man has 10% of your magic defense. Oh. I have no idea what my mag magic defense is. Um, all right. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go smoke. And refill my drink because it is very low. And that is not going to work. And it's mostly water now. And that doesn't taste good. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll uh, we'll take a quick.